Young nigga, young nigga, your friends bad too, then Tom come with you. Cause I'm on it. And we like hey guys, I'm here with like a story type video. So uh yeah, leave a like and uh let's get right into this. Okay, so uh I'm just gonna give you all of the stories I can from my lunch table. Okay. Now I've done a lot of things at my lunch table and let's just say I'm not proud of any of it because I've done a lot of crazy shit, okay? From exploding a milk at the table to telling my principal to fuck off to just doing random shit and I'm gonna cover all of that in this video okay so the first thing I have to say is my whole lunch table we're all retarded okay we all have so many fucking mental issues like it's not even funny like okay like let's start with Jack okay Jack is the type of kid okay he laughs like literally he his dad doesn't want him to laugh, so if his dad ever heard him laugh, he would beat his ass. That's literally how Jack laughs. You've got Nick, who makes fuck. I don't even know what Nick is. Nick is not normal. Adrian, who freaking talks about how his dad was a dart player, so it's freaking girls want him inside of him and like stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, let's start with the first story. So the first story started last year. Basically, what happened is I had a banana peel, okay? And the, there, were there was a girl table right beside mine, okay? I turned around and I looked these girls straight in the face and I said, this is my foreskin. Therefore causing the security guard to say, that's harassment, send me down to the office, okay? My principal's like, you have punt, you have freaking community service or whatever the fuck it is, I don't know. And he freaking, I had to stay after school a day and put something together for my teacher. But what happened in the office was the principal was like, hey, uh, I'm going to have to punish you now. Uh, so yeah, and I'm also going to call their parents. And I was like, I can honestly give two fucks about what their parents do and what their fucking what you fucking punish me and then he's like oh well you obviously do and I was like no I really fucking don't why don't you just go fuck yourself fuck off you're a fucking bully and I know that I might I know that I'm probably gonna get in trouble for saying all of this and yes I know it's it's not okay to say that but um you know but second story is uh the time that I took my camera to Jack's face on snapchat okay and they still had that draw filter on it you know that filter that you could like draw anything like you could draw a fucking weenus or like a fucking penis or a fucking I don't know a pussy on somebody's on it and it would sense their face and it would connect with it okay what I did is I had drawn a penis okay and I put it to Jack's face okay and what he did was literally hilarious I took a picture and he raised his hand called the teacher over and he said Mrs. Gilbert Jason put a cock on my face and basically what happened is she was like you either delete that right now or I will send you down to the office and I was like uh okay and I deleted it and she's like you have 30 seconds and you know I deleted it and all but I didn't see why he would freaking do that I didn't do anything to him so uh yeah third story Okay. Third. Oh, sorry. Third story. Third story is the uh, time that uh, I created a character named White Chocolate the Male Stripper. Okay. Now, White Chocolate the Male Stripper is not only a stripper; he's a prostitute. He's a freaking sex slave. He's a waitress, and he's your dad, okay? He's your freaking daddy. Now, don't don't even tell me that your daddy is your dad that's in the house right now because white chocolate gave birth to you. White chocolate is in your blood, okay? Basically, what happened is I um, we created him, and basically, um, his um theme song was the party boy thing you know the and basically what happened is I went up to a teacher and I was like I'm white shock the male stripper and Adrian started playing started playing um, my theme behind me 
and I started pulling up my shirt, and I got sent down to the office for sexual harassment. But, uh, you know, it's all good. And the final story. The milk explosion. Okay. Now, you y'all need to understand, this milk explosion was not intentional, okay? Let's just start with, uh, what had happened this day at lunch, okay? I already been yelled at for, uh, yelling fuck in the middle of the lunchroom, okay? And what happened was I, being the stupid person I am, decided it'd be a good idea to get up, go and buy two freaking, uh, things of milk, okay? I went and bought two things of milk, and then I came back to the table, okay? I started messing with one, smashing one against my tray and the table. What happened was it started to drip out of the bottom and I was trying to take a drink from that little hole that I created in the bottom. As Mrs. Gilbert walks over and is standing right by Jack and she's telling me to stop banging it into the table, okay? So I'm drinking it now. And then all of a sudden, this freaking giant fountain of pink milk, freaking strawberry milk, comes out and Jack he gets it all over himself and we just both start dying because it was hilarious but what happened was he smelled like milk for the rest of the day because he had it on his um his shirt my football coach yelled at me when he heard about it and then I got lunch detention for one day the next day and I had to go down to the office for the rest of the day so I hope you guys enjoyed my stupid stories about my lunch table uh leave a like and yeah see you guys later Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. F <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> ah, look at the top of his head. <laughs>